So today I have our service technician Ian here with us and he's going to assist us in removing the rear wheel, which is also your motor on your Vulcan Brat. So the first step that you're going to want to do is remove the 5 millimeter Allen bolt that's located holding your chain tensioner to the swing arm. So once you remove the 5 millimeter Allen bolt, you're going to let the chain tensioner slide down the chain and rest at the bottom. Now the next step once you've removed the chain tensioner will be to snip the zip tie holding the motor wire to the swing arm. Then you'll want to disconnect that motor connection by unscrewing the locking retaining ring. Once the motor's been disconnected, you'll move on to the next step, which is removing the plastic covers over the axles. Now, after you've removed the axle covers from both sides of the bike, you're going to use an 18 millimeter socket to remove the axle nuts from both sides of the axle. So the next step will be to remove the non-rotational washer and back it out just a little bit from the swing arm and this will allow you to drop the wheel out of the swing arm. So in order to reinstall the rear wheel, you want to make sure that the non-rotational washers are lined up with the slots in the swing arm, and they should be to the outside of the swing arm. Then you're going to reinstall the two 18 millimeter axle nuts on each side. And at this point, we suggest removing the bike from the stand and letting it sit all the way down on the table or the floor, and this will ensure that the wheel is all the way tucked up into the swing arm. Next, you'll reinstall the chain onto the rear sprocket. Then you'll reinstall the chain tensioner onto the swing arm using a six millimeter Allen wrench. Now, when reinstalling that chain tensioner, you wanna make sure that the rear little notch on the swing arm is sitting flush up against the chain tensioner, and there is no play. Now, the final step is to reconnect the motor making sure the pins line up and seat easily. Then you'll use the locking retaining ring to screw the motor connections together and lock them in place. Now, once you've done that, you'll need to secure the motor wire and the brake line with a small zip tie to the inside of the swing arm to prevent any rubbing on the rear wheel. The final step once you've torqued everything down is to reinstall the plastic caps over the axle nuts on each side of the bike. So now that you better understand how to service some of the components on your Vulcan Brat, make sure you check out the owner's manual as well as the service manual for further details. Thanks for watching and make sure you enjoy the ride.